Hey everyone, Tech Gamer here. Welcome back to our continued playthrough of Dragon Warrior 4 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. In today's video, we're going to be playing Chapter 4, The Sisters of Monbarava. So here we are, the story begins. We see Mara up on the stage, dancing for a crowd. And here is Nara, her sister. They are looking for their sworn enemy, Balzac. Uh, so the story is Balzac killed their father. And uh, they've been looking for him. So we received 100 gold. And now it's time to go out and explore the world and look for their sworn enemy, Balzac. So here we are, we now have control. The first thing to do is search around Mon Barbera because there are some things hidden inside of the drawers and pots. Found a medical herb. And let's go ahead and go up here. And go ahead and talk to this guy again. This was our boss. Our father is buried in a town north of here called search this pot search that one nothing it's always good just to check all these things because you never know what you're going to find I think one of these has like a feather hat strength seed maybe it was a strength seed All right, let's go ahead and leave this building. So here on the right, we have an inn. There is a healing shrine. If we go left here. We have some buildings. This is an, you know, an eatery. And just some random guy. He's looking for his daughter, it's presumed. She's the girl outside of the inn. You can talk to her at night. Uh, she'll give you, you know, just information about what's going on in this chapter. Nothing you, we don't really already know. And let's go ahead and go up here. This is an armor shop. They sell wayfarers clothes, silk robe, leather dress, leather hat, medical herb. Not going to buy anything yet. Weapon shop here. Club, copper sword, thorn whip, boomerang. Boomerang is pretty good for Mara. So Mara is, Nara is a fortune teller. And Mara is a dancer. She learns offensive spells 
Nera earns mostly healing spells, with the exception of Infernos, which is kind of helpful in this chapter. Alright, so the first thing we need to do here is fight around. And we need to get up to about level 3 before we venture north. And we'll go ahead and, you know, just fight our way through these battles here. Getting up levels is pretty quick at the beginning. Um, because we're so, you know, weak right now. You gotta be really careful because it's so easy for Mara to die. Nera, not as much. Mara, though, is generally the weaker of the two sisters, but stronger offensively for magic. Nera obviously has better physical attacks and uh, less powerful magic. She's more about, I use her more for defensive magic. keep fighting around here for a while a good majority of this chapter is uh, spent grinding for levels <laughs> takes about I would say three hours to beat this chapter continuing to you know fight around as I was saying this chapter takes about mm, three hours to beat So the story of while we're fighting here is that Nera and Mara are the daughters of Edgar, and he was killed by Balzac. We don't know why yet. Um, spoiler alert, cover your ears if you don't want to know. He was trying to destroy the secret of evolution, and Balzac caught him and uh, killed him because of it. But his partner, an alchemist, escaped and will help us in this chapter. We have to recruit him from... He's hiding in a cave. So just continuing the same pattern here. Mara magic, Nera attack. When every time we run out of uh, magic, we just go back, stay at the inn. Thing what I want to do here. Um, I will fight. Why not? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Terrific blow of four didn't do anything. Knocked one out. Knocked two out. See, so like I was saying, you got to be super careful. Look how low Nera's. Uh, Hit points are here. But we should be able to knock this guy out. And we'll go stay at the inn. There we go. There we got up a level. Nice. So in this chapter, you only need to get to like... I think it's like level 13. To uh, be able to beat the chapter. So it, it really doesn't take that long. Buy some armor here. Buy another leather hat. So, leather hats, they're good. Uh, are they worth the money? Questionable. Because um, you get feather hats later on. And they get strong. Uh, so you end up selling the leather hats just for the feather hats. Hey, go ahead and equipping the leather hat for both. 
and uh, back outside. So, like I was saying, the leather hats are great, especially at the get-go. Uh, are they worth it? Yes, in my opinion. Uh, others may feel differently, that you could save up for the feather hat, which is available in the next town. But I like to just get it and uh, make life that much easier. So, like I said, we need to get up to around level 3 before we venture north. Now, you could just go north to Kiev's and uh, call it a day. But I prefer to uh, get up to level 3 first, just because the guys up there are a little more difficult. As you can see, it's getting easier and easier with these fights. Nera starts to be able to one-hit uh, the enemies around level 2-3, which makes everything that much easier and faster. The only thing I didn't like about this chapter was the majority of grinding that you have to do. Uh, you have to grind here before you go into the cave to rescue... Uh, Orin, who is injured inside, and to get the uh, Spear of Silence, you need to be at least level, I'm thinking level 5 to level 7 to do that, it's, it's actually difficult if you're not at that level, because you only have the two of you to rely on, and uh, you spend a lot of time healing and using spells, which drains your magic points quickly. I'm doing the grind. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> this is the last of the uh, chapters prior to meeting the hero of our game. We are in Sap. As I said in my other videos, I try to uh, order the chapters and how I like them. Um, I think my favorite chapter is Chapter 3, uh, Tulun the Arms Merchant, followed then by Chapter 4, The Sisters of Monbarvara, and then Chapter 1, uh, The Soldiers of Berlin, 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 and then Chapter 2, Princess Helena's Adventure. Um, the only fun part of Chapter 2 is the tournament at Endor. Everything else is kind of, I don't know. I just didn't, I didn't, I found it boring. Adjust my camera a little bit here. One more time. There we go. I notice when you use the zoom functionality on this uh, Logitech Brio that I have, it if I move back and forth a lot, it readjusts, like focuses it constantly. Nera can now one-hit Monjars, which is great. Speeds up the fighting a lot here. Nera levels up. Both at level 3, so we should be able to go ahead now and venture north to Kiev's. Soon. You got to be careful when you head, head north. I remember there's uh, rabbit hounds up there, and they're like two hits. They can uh, 
hit you pretty good. So we're going to go ahead here and stay at the inn. And we're going to make our way north. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to do here. Probably not right now. So I may actually end up coming back here to buy some stuff once I get some more money up north of here. So heading up north, we see a signpost here. Passing that. Here is our hometown. Everyone here is very friendly and knows us. So one of the benefits of this town is we can stay at the inn for free. Right now I don't need to, but I can. I will be using this in the future. Edgar's daughters. If we talk to the various people, they just uh, let us know what's going on here. This lady tells us about Orin. And just checking out the various things. Edgar's been dead for a while now. And Balzac has disappeared. Here is an item shop. The item shop actually sells a feather hat and a chain sickle. Chain sickle is very good for Nera. I highly recommend uh, you save up and get it. This is the stray dog who follows us around. Here's our house. Found a life force nuts. Oops. So my usual rule of thumb is I like to use the life force nuts on uh, Mara and the strength seeds on Nara. Welcome to chest, there's nothing. This is our father's grave. I don't think you can do anything with it. So now we'll go ahead and use transfer the life force nuts to Mara. And we'll continue on the grind here. I wish they could have uh, expanded the story about Edgar a little bit. Like, if you came to the village at night, he could have been like a ghost at the grave, which was, you know, would follow like kind of the Dragon Warrior ish line. But they don't do that in this game, which would have been cool. And then he could have given you more information about like Balzac and what happened. But I'm not the writer, so. As you can see, as I said, the guys get considerably harder. Uh, right now, it takes two or three hits to knock out a rabbit hound, and they can do a pretty considerable amount of damage in the meantime. Casco's hoppers are nothing to worry about. Got the rabbit hound. Try and take him out in two hits here. Got him. I'm gonna attack these guys. Thank you. 
troglodytes just killed Mara. Yay. So, we'll kill this guy, and then we have to bring her back to life. So that's what I was saying about you need to be very careful in this area, because it's uh, quite dangerous. So that soldier who's staying at the inn tells us more about Balzac's location as an FYI. So we're going to go ahead here and uh, buy a wing of the wyvern to fly back to Mon Barbara. Nera can hold this. Eh, you know what? The more I think about it, I'm going to save the 25 gold and we're going to hoof it to the town. There's where we learned about his cave. Orin knows where Balzac is. So we're going to walk back to Mon Barbara now and bring Mera back to life. This we're going to run from. This I'll fight. Bring Mara back to life here. Fortunately, it's only 10 gold. So, by not buying the Wing of the Wyvern and walking back, I ended up saving 10 gold. So, continuing on our... Adventure here. Once I get Mara a weapon... She helps out a lot with these weaker guys that I don't have to waste magic on. But right now I'm focused more on armor than anything. We'll head back up towards Kiev's. an A here for this kind of stuff. That is one of the benefits of this game is when you're grinding like this, you can kind of do it with one hand. <laughs> when I'm not playing, you know, recording a video as I'm playing, I literally just kind of wander around in an area with one hand and just, you know, surf my phone or surf the internet or something with the other. Just to help the grind. Especially in chapter 5, because that's going to be a long chapter. Chapter 5 takes like, I think it's like 10, 15 hours alone just to beat. I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to work that, because YouTube has a video limit, I think 12 hours? these two out. Thank you. 
got this rabbit hound first. I have to decide what to play once I uh, finish Dragon Warrior 4. I can move on to the uh, newer generation of Dragon Warrior games. Or I may switch to uh, Final Fantasy. Someone in one of my videos told me they want me to play Chrono Trigger. Um, which is a whole lot of fun too. That's one of my other favorite games. And someone also said they want me to play Final Fantasy 6. Which is Final Fantasy 3 in the United States. So I haven't really decided yet. Uh, if anybody has any thoughts, you know, drop a comment on the video. And save it in here. Keep on fighting around here. Got the rabbit hound. Oh, 
Level five, yay. Probably gonna get up to like level, I don't know, maybe level seven before we venture into this cave over there. I'm just gonna go back to Mon Barbara now. I'm assuming I'm saying that right. Mon Barbara, Mon Barbara, Bar, bleh. Mon Barbara is what I'll call it. <laughs> they can't just call it like village. Knock out these Mongars. Monjar. Oh, one ran away. Later on in this chapter, you actually run into uh, King Slimes, which are pretty nice because they give you like 100 experience per fight. I remember those guys. You start out with like fighting like eight slimes and they all, you know, like merge together into one. Stay at the end here. Go up to the item shop, or armor shop, or buy the leather dress. We'll give it to Mara first. And we'll go ahead and exit. I'm going to equip it with her and sell the dancer's dress costume. So 15 to 21. Not bad. We're going to sell the dancer's costume. Nice. 300 gold. Puts me at 533. Buy the leather dress for Nera. From 16 to 20. I mean, hey, it's, you know, better than nothing. Sell the silk robe. Yes. Exit. All right, so we've pretty much gotten the armor we need out of this place. Let's check out weapons. Buy. You know what? Let's buy a boomerang. Let's give it to Mara. Uh, yes. That's good. Exit. The reason I'm not going to buy Nera a boomerang is just because I'm going to save up for the chain sickle for her anyway. So 5 to 23. Now, when she attacks, she might actually be able to kill something in one hit without having to fight it twice, and I can save some magic.
continuing to head north here. Nice. Kind of fight around some more. Doing what I do best. So as we venture over towards the cave west of Keebs, you find that the enemies start getting harder. But I'm comfortable going over this way. Now, I'm not going to go in the cave yet. But I'm going to start fighting over here to get up some levels. So there is the cave. That is our next destination. But I want to get up some more levels first. And I want to get in there uh, the uh, chain sickle. There is up to level five. Gotta be careful with demon toadstools. Uh, poison is an issue. Keep on wandering around. on wandering around two hundred gold about halfway to what I want to be pop 
a visit to the inn here. Yes, an elementary's daughter. Do you keep telling me? We're going to save up for the uh, feather hats and the chain sickle. That's going to be our next goal here. So it's funny, I remember when this game came out and uh, you didn't hear about stuff like you used to, you know, like there was no internet at the time and I could just see people today, if this game came out today, where we need to find, we're two girls and we need to find uh, Orin to help us. That would probably never fly in this day and age because, you know, women have to do things themselves and they need they don't need the man to help them that's sexist another angel head here oh we missed Keep on marching back and forth. <coughs> Again, I'm going to go ahead and put timestamps in all these uh, videos. So that if you want to see a certain spot, all you have to do is click. It'll be pinned in the comment. Trogodites. Got these guys dead. See, getting that boomerang for Mara really helps. While it's expensive, it gives her at least a weapon to work with. Ooh, excuse me. Remember before how Chagodite beat me up? Here they're dead and super quick. So we're almost ready to go into this cave. Just gotta get up just a little more levels and buy a better weapon for Nera and we'll be able to blow through that cave.
about knocking through these guys. A spell, a spell. So I keep doing over and over. <laughs> Once we get up to level seven, we're gonna go into for everybody. We're gonna go into that cave. Level six for Nera. So you need to be on at least level six to go into this cave, and I'm. I can tell you that because <coughs> the amount of effort that's involved right now on the enemies outside of the cave, they're going to be even harder inside the cave. So, based on that, level 7 seems like it's a good number. And I recommend having the chain sickle for Nera. So there's two things to do inside the cave. Number one, you need to collect the Spear of Silence. And number two... You need to get Orin. Orin is the former pupil partner of Edgar, your father. He's hiding out inside the cave. So, there's two ways to do it. One, you can get the Spear of Silence first, which is what I'll show you how to do. Or two, you can get Orin first and then go get the Spear of Silence. Once Orin is really good for this, and he is a very... Wrong. He's a non-playable character. He has, you know, a fine, a set amount of hit points. Doesn't gain levels. You can't control him, and all he really does is attack. But he packs quite a wallop. So he's basically becomes your offensive lead, followed by Nara, then Mara's magic. Oops. Almost there for the chain sickle. I'll start to head back that way now. Oh, nice. This is going to give some good experience. Oh, me. Hmm. Sort of good experience. Take out these Mongars again. Heading back towards Kiev to get the chain sickle. Once we get that chain sickle, Nara should pretty much be able to one hit anybody she attacks, which will be very useful. Uh, let's go ahead and stay at the trusty inn. In chapter five, if you have Nara or Mara in your party, they um, allow you to stay at the inn for free if you ever visit this town. Which is good because you can use it when you come back here to uh, go through the Akimo mine. Again, so we chain sickle is bought. We up to 36. Let's go ahead and sell the copper sword. 75 gold, yep. 
Alright, just gotta get up to level 7, and then I will go into that cave. So I could probably do it right now and be okay, but prefer to play it safe. And there is going to pack quite a while up now. Took it over 20, probably. Oh, 14. Eh, not as good as I thought, but that's okay. Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me. It's been a busy Sunday. All right, continuing on. Knock those guys out. Mara levels up. Nice. She's where I want her to be. She learned Fireball. Awesome. So Fireball will hit everybody on the uh, the group. So if you have three Mongars, it'll hit three Mongars. At some point, I think you, if I remember right, you learn Bang in this chapter, which will hit everybody on the field. So now we just want to get Nara up a level. And then we'll be good to conquer this cave. out this guy Try to the antidote room. Ooh, you're late. Just keep beating these guys up. Chogo Diet was defeated. Knock this guy out. A couple more rounds of fighting. We should get up to level 7 for Nera. Fortune Teller Fighter. Thank you. 
got the Mongars. Mongars, I keep saying. And there we go, level seven. So we are ready to go into this cave. So here's what I think we're gonna do. Let's go back to the village of Kiev's, see if we can get those two feather hats, and then we're gonna get this party started. We are back at Kiev, so whoops, I walked right by it. <laughs> Stay at the inn. Yes. The other feather hat here. Sell the cypress stick. All right, equip time. We go from twenty two to twenty eight. All right, here we go. All right, so here we are at the cave west of Kiev's. I'm going to go ahead here and uh, go inside. So, 
their objective in this cave is to two things. One, to get the Spear of Silence, and two, rescue Orin from his hiding space. Random Merchant. Moon Baraba. Moon Barbar or Baraba. Moon Barab Moon Baraba. Ugh. I'm a tongue twister. Can't they just call it like Moon? Not in there, I got poisoned. We probably should have loaded up on antidote herbs when I uh, came in here, but of course I didn't. So that's my last one, I think. Knock out these lava dolls here. So Fireball, again, like I said, is a great spell for attacking multiple enemies at once, but they have to be in the same group. So you can't have Lava Doll 2, Lava Doll 1. You have to have Lava Doll 3 for it to hit all of them at once. As an example. So Orin is straight ahead. But if we go down, we can go and get the uh, Spear of Silence first. So I'll probably just go ahead and think I'm going to go down first, just to make it more exciting. At this level in the game, the guys in this state cave are not very difficult. But as you can see, Mera is already up to level 8. So it makes sense to continue fighting every battle. Oh, whoops, I went the wrong way. Well, that's right, we'll get this treasure chest. The entrance past the wall, on the other side of this wall is where we're supposed to go. But I'm on the wrong side, but that's okay. This treasure chest here will come in handy, whatever it is. <laughs> 240 gold. Nice. So going out of the way was definitely worth it. Now let's go the right way.
Well, I'm poisoned, but that's okay. I can uh, deal with that. Just have to heal Mara periodically. Alright, so the Spear of Silence is right up here. And we can see Orin on the other side once I finish this fight. Spear of Silence here. And I kill this lava doll. Mara. So now if we had three people in our party, we could have blown through that rock wall right there. And it's the faster way to get to the Spear of Silence. But because I don't have Orin yet, I um, have to do it the old fashioned way. So I got the Spear of Silence by walking to it. Now, again, when you're at any point in this game, you should be strong enough to clear through the cave or a tower or a dungeon without having to take shortcuts. If you're not, strongly reconsider not coming to the spot yet. So back on our way up a floor here.
All right, so heading back out of the cave now. We're doing okay. See, Orin pops quite a punch there. Got these guys here. Have an Orin in this party. It's just like pounce done. <laughs> it's nice. I really dropped the ball by not bringing any antidote herbs, but that's all right. I mean, I'll make it back. All right, so we'll have to walk back because I don't have enough magic to cast return. Thank you. 
All right. So, now that we have Orn in our party and we have recovered in Kiev's, we're going to head north to Havil. So, to do this, we're going to head up this way. Keep going north past Kiwion. This is the final part of the game. Chapter, I'm sorry. Okay, here are the slimes. These turn into the Slime King. We get 100 experience points per Slime King, which is great. So let's heal up Mara here because she got hit a little bit. And this castle, like I said, is the final part of Chapter 4. I'm not even going to bother to go inside yet because there's really nothing to do. Um, let's go up to Havil here. And we'll go ahead and check out this town a little bit. Havil, Havil. So we have an inn. See how expensive it is. Ah, that's right. To the left over there is the weapon shop. There is a priest. There is an... This is an item shop. We have your typical, you know, run-of-the-mill stuff. And let's go ahead and check out the armor shop. This is very important because there's some good stuff here. Um, we can get a half-plate armor. A scale shield, feather hats, which we already have. So let's check out the scale shields Nara can take. Give it to her. And let's also get the half plate armor. Give it to Nara. Ah, she's out of room. We'll give it to Mara. That's fine. She can't be equipped with it. We're going to have to shuffle some inventory around here. And transfer that to Nera. Let's equip Nera with half white armor. Go up to 44. Oops. Scale shield and up to 51. Nice. We're going to sell some things here. Let's sell the leather dress. Make some money back. And let's go ahead and exit here. I will buy something actually. Um, I'm going to save up for the fur coat. I think that um, Mara can take that if I remember right. Yep, so we'll save there. Let's just explore a little more here. We have a jail. So if we talk to this guy, he basically says he was thrown in jail and he accidentally ignited gunpowder near the room of the council's castle's council and it scared the prime minister guy. King of Kiwion throws people in here. So the next thing we need to do in this chapter, and the final thing before we can fight Balzac, is we need to go visit a chemo mine and get the gunpowder. But we're not strong enough to even get through the mine yet. So we need to do some more grinding. But we can at least go visit the mine. We need to be on the least level 12, I'm going to say. So we're just going to start doing the usual fighting around, and we'll visit Akimo at this point. Let's go ahead and use Firewall on the Lava Doll. Okay, knock out this Lick Lick. So, again, all we're doing at this point is just fighting around here, looking for some King Slimes to get up some levels.
Oh, excuse me. All right, knocking through these guys. <clears throat> oh, got a bunch of slimes. So the trick to the slimes, you'll see that you can't kill them. That's how you know they're going to turn into a slime king. Orin can kill them, uh, but they'll usually come back. This one should. There it goes. And then they go, oh, the slimes. And they turn into a slime king. You need two, three, you need seven of them to make a slime king. Or eight of them, maybe. They're not difficult, these guys, obviously, like I said. You just <coughs> They pack a little bit of a punch, to, but since we've updated our armor and stuff, they don't really. And they have about 100, 100 150 hit points. But they give 100 experience, <coughs> which is great. Fur coat for Mara. And let's equip. 30 to 38. Sell the leather dress. So, the weapons that we need are very expensive. And when I say very expensive, I don't mean, you know, crazy, but they're upwards of a north of a thousand. So, not even going to attempt to visit the weapon shop yet. Um, we'll do that in a little while. Just gonna keep back to fighting around, back to the grind. Uh, more slimes. If you kill too many of them, they won't become a slime king. In this case, they're not gonna become a slime king because they're dying on the one hits. They won't die if Nera and Mera attack them if they're gonna become a slime king. Or in they still will, but they'll replicate right away. <coughs> so, like I said, when it comes to Nera, um. There's a good weapon for her in Havil. There's also the tarot cards inside the cave, the mine of Akimo. Um, they both are good. You can get either one. So Nera knows uh, Infernos now. So we can use that, which helps make the fights speed up. When you have to hit multiple enemies. <coughs> For Mara, um, the recommended course of action which I always take is there is a, a venomous or a poisonous dagger that's for sale at uh, Havil which is like it's a little over a thousand and it's highly recommended to get for her because while it lowers her attack points to one you don't really care about that for her anyway at this point because the boomerang is not going to cut it anymore anyway so you're going to mostly focus on uh, offensive spells with her but what you can do is you get this dagger and if you attack people with it, you have a random chance of instant kills. And it happens quite often, believe it or not. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get that for her. We're outside. This is the uh, Shrine of Revelations, I believe, or some House of Prophecy. I was close. Basically, they're telling us that The person who we're looking for is very powerful, but they see a, a light around us that's growing. That's because we're uh, getting stronger and we're looking. And in the future, it'll be joined by others. That's a reference to Chapter 5. All right, mark 
marching along. Bum, 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 bum. We can go up here and visit Akimo finally. See, the guys are getting stronger and stronger. We have to be careful because we can die very easily. Not that it, I mean, not that it matters so much. We just, you know, it's not expensive to bring Nera and Mera back. Orin's a little pricey. And just doing a status check there. We're okay. As you can see, the guys are all just variants of each other. Um, but they're getting stronger. that one yeah I was gonna return but we'll wait you run into these wear tigers in the Akimo mine too they're not overly difficult they can make you cower, uh, which is, can be dangerous when, if all of, if all three of you cower, which is rare, in the cave in the mine. I keep saying the cave; it's a mine. Um, the other guys who fight with you can beat you up pretty good. Uh, slimes. So they're going to become a king slime. There we go. So it's two, five, seven, eight. I was right, eight. In chapter 5, you actually run across uh, metal king slimes, which give a ridiculous amount of experience if you can kill them. get up to at least level 11 or so before we head into the mine oh no Nara died sorry what's um return to hey, you know what? we'll go inside here I think there's a priest in here if I remember right so exploring a chemo He's telling us that if we need gunpowder, it's in the mine. Uh, the guy who works there is dead. Uh, the priest is dead. I don't feel good. I need to rest. Oh, he's sick. So basically, 
the mine is just like any mine you always learn about. Uh, it typically destroys the town around it. This case is special because the people are digging and don't realize what they're actually digging towards, which we learn about more in Chapter 5. For this case, all we really need to do is get into the mine, get the gunpowder, and get out. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and save while we're here. I don't think I've saved at all in this chapter. Again, I'm bad about that, especially when I play straight through. I um, typically don't save very often. So I'm not even going to try and go into the mine yet because I know it'll just be a, a super, super, super hard challenge. And we're not ready yet. Now, we can talk about that for a minute. So you've seen me in the other chapters, you know, go and just go into the mine. Or for example, the mine. let's use the mine as an example. You'll see me do it early and just run the whole time. Yeah, I can do that. Um, but in this case, I'm not gonna, because the only thing left to do after this is beat, uh, Balzac. So I need to get up the levels anyway. So I want to be able to fight while inside the cave, the mine. So I'm just going to continue to do it the proper way, get up to a good level and then go in. So Nara learned, uh, numb off. And just keep on marching around. Through these guys with fireball here. Mara does cast or uh, Bane at some point. <clears throat> Bang. I'm sorry, not Bane. Bang. Which basically hits everybody on the field, which is really good. And it's especially useful when you're fighting Balzac. Uh, let's see if she learns it now. There it is. <laughs> we just learned Bang. Nice. Okay. Maybe we'll get up Nara one more level and then we'll uh, rock and roll in this mine. These guys aren't overly difficult. Doing good on gold. Let's go ahead and uh, return to Havil here. I want to buy some uh, weapons like we talked about. So the weapon shop. We're going to head. Uh, I think it's up here. No, wait, this is the eatery. Sorry. I remember where it is now. Go this way. Go this way. Here it is. Yes. This guy's off like the middle of nowhere. So I want to get the Morning Star for Nera. Give her the Morning Star. And we'll go ahead and sell 
the chain sickle, which I'm currently equipped with. Oh, you know, wait, I don't want to do that. Cancel. Sorry. Whoops. Sell. Nera. Chain sickle. Should be about 400 gold. Yep, 412. And exit. Equip. We got a 55 attack. So that's the best weapon you can get for Nera in Chapter 4. Highly recommended. For Mera, the Venomous Dagger is a good buy. Like I said, it's not the best weapon. But it is uh, beneficial in that it does cause instant kill on a random basis. Do these guys here? All right. Should be easy, pretty easy to knock through these guys with bang. Let's keep on trucking along here. We're almost there. Thinking once we get Nara to level 11, we're going to tackle the Akatimo Mine. Uh, attack this guy here. Excuse me. 85. Nice. <coughs> Alright, let's see how we're doing. Our health is good. Keep on marching. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. <laughs> 
Ooh, excuse me. I would love to learn how to do a, you know, a speed run for these games. Like, I've just never tried one before. I know a lot of it is using exploits and stuff like that to get through the game without having to grind and, you know, do everything perfectly. But I always wanted to try one. I just never did. attack here they're going to become a king slime there we go oh excuse me I was thinking about doing for chapter 5 and I haven't again I think I mentioned this in chapter 3 when I was playing as well. I've still been considering doing a live play through of Dragon Warrior 4, Chapter 5. The whole thing, you know, start to finish. I just, it would be rough, though. I don't know if I'd be able to to do it. <laughs> I really would love to. I think it would be cool. But then I have, you know, concerns about would anyone watch it? Because I, while I only have 177 subscribers, um, I'm not sure, you know, how many people would watch it. I would obviously advertise first that it's going to happen, but I worry about um, how many people would actually watch it. And the logistics of it. I mean, playing 10, 12 hours of... For me, it's hard because I have to stop a lot for, uh, you know, personal things. So something like this two three hours i can do no problem but i don't know 10 12 hours that's a whole nother uh animal i'd have to do it at night or take off work and or do it over a weekend which is hard because of kids and noise and other than that stuff if i had the time to dedicate to playing these kind of games you would see so much quality stuff for me but one day so I'm back at Havil. I'm going to stay at the inn here. Because the weapon shop will be closed at night. <clears throat> Alright, let's go over to the weapon shop here. Pick up the dagger. And we should almost be ready to tackle the mine. So once we get through the mine, we're going to have to probably fight around more before we can get to Balzac. But worry about that when we get there. So the boomerang has been sold. We're going to go ahead and buy the uh, poison needle. I called it the venomous dagger before. I apologize. Poison needle. Exit. Equip. Poison needle. See the attack didn't change. And that's okay though. Alright. Back outside we go. Do return to Kitimo. All right. So we're going to go ahead here and go inside the mine. And you can see it's surrounded by poison. So here we are. Some guy's sitting at a table. He must be a union worker. Because he's on break. Mystic acorns, they increase your available magic points. So let's go ahead and transfer them to Mara. And use them. Let's go up five. Five, look at that. Lucky guess. All right. So getting through the mine is not crazy difficult. It's pretty short. 
it's just a little bit of a maze. But between having Orin and uh, Nera's healing abilities, we should be okay. Nera leveled up. She's at level 11. We need to be at at least level 12, 13 to beat Balzac. 13 probably being preferred. Let's go ahead and heal Nara here. All right, continuing on. And my dog. And we'll do bang. I'm trying to be conservative with my magic utilization because I don't want to run out. Nice. But at the same time, I don't want to run from any fights because I need the experience. So we'll keep moving. Uh, west is probably nothing. I remember that. So we're going to go east. And east. Uh, we have a treasure chest. Oh. Bang. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. Yeah. All right, so I just get the treasure chest here. Finds its silver tarot cards. These are um, the best findable weapon for Nera in this chapter. But the weapon that I bought from Havil is also basically the same. So we're just going to hang on to them for chapter five. All right, going to go down these steps deeper into the mine. So you'll notice now that Mera basically only attacks like one every time. But if you watch closely when I attack, uh, sometimes the random to people will have the life sucked out of them. All right, so on to the next floor here. Going to keep on going. We'll go west, east. Yes, here we go. Oh, okay. All right. So we have reached the people are digging further. We'll come back here in chapter five. So searching the treasure chest, we find the gunpowder jar. So I have to go ahead and get out of here. And now we are basically have everything we need to take on Balzac, just levels. So now we're just going to fight around for a little while and get up some more levels.
There, I got up a level. Level 12, nice. Just gonna go ahead and explore around more. I mean, this is really what Chapter 4, a lot of it's about. It's just the grind. I think you gotta be careful with these vampire bats that they put you to sleep. So we gotta be careful here. I don't want Mara to die. Good. As you can see, it's pretty easy to get beat up in this mine. So, it shows you not ready for the final boss yet. Now, some of you may argue with me and say, you know, you can go fight the final boss and you'd probably win. Possibly. There's a high likelihood when Orin attacks that He'll hit, get the super attack on Balzac, and two of those finishes him off. Three, you know, but that's a big if, and he fights pretty hard. So I'm just going to get up, you know, like maybe level 13, 14 at the most, and then I'll go for it. Just playing it cautious, you know, better than doing it once. And there, as you see, the uh, poisonous needle killed that enemy instantly. Probably should heal at some point. Yeah. After this fight. Oh. Uh oh. Ow. Okay. <laughs> well, that's not good. Um. We're already here, might as well fight it. 
Well, we're going to have to go outside and bring Nara back to life. That was unpleasant. But fortunately, we're not very deep inside the cave. So let's, um, that whoops, dash dead. No, 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 no. Spell outside. So we're outside the town. Which is where we appear. We'll go back in. Let's go ahead and visit the priest. Give him some money. He can't just do it out of the goodness of his religious heart. But that's all right. into the mine get some more poisonous gas so I would say at this point give it another half hour we should be done with this chapter we're getting down to the end here probably just need to get up you know a little bit more experience here. Trying to make the best of it so that we don't have to do this again. And I still can't remember if levels transfer to Chapter 5. I think... For some reason, I think they don't. But I, I could be... I think they do, actually. Yes, they do. Because the hero always starts out lower than the people that you, Mara and Nera, that you find when you get to Endor, I believe. So yes, I think levels to transfer. Weapons, I think, do as well, because that's why in the previous chapters I was trying to be, you know, save what I had, with the exception of Tulum. I kind of sold off all his stuff. Let's show Infernos, bang, knock through these guys here. You gotta be careful because like I said, these guys can, they can pack a wallop. Now, obviously the attacks are spread out amongst three people, not two, so that helps. But you gotta be super careful because strength in numbers. Infernos is a wind spell. And these guys are weak against wind spells, so. Okay, that was a good amount of experience there. Let's do some healing. So Nera should learn heal more at some point soon. And that's what we need when we fight Balzac, because you don't want your party members to drop below 20 for Nera and Mera at any time when you're fighting him. Because that's dangerous territory there. No, I guess my thought, my previous comment about Infernos being the guys being weak against it, Infernos doesn't do any more damage than Bang does. So, ignore what I said. Thank you. 
All right, still marching around here. Doing good here. Stats are okay. Thinking. Keep on fighting around. Yes, these guys. These guys get like 200 something experience to fight. So let's do. Infernos. Bang. Or an all attack. Nice. Nair is up to level 12. Strength goes up 2. Agility goes up 2. Vitality 1. Intelligence 2. Luck 3. HP 2. MP 4. No heal more yet. So we might have to get her up one more level. Really should no heal more. I highly recommend that. Because heal is not enough at this point. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to have to get her up one more level. But it shouldn't take that long. Just keep on going. Nara's at level 13, which is what I want. Just got to get Nara up to that point, and she should learn to heal more. I think it's level 13. Orin a little bit here. He's walking around in the blue life beater. Oh, that guy packs a punch. Thank you. 
many of his buddies died, yet he's still standing around in the mine. Get back to work. Naturally, of course, you know, we're in the mine and the gas doesn't bother us. But it's presumed that it's long-term exposure. All right, we better beat these guys quick because they're in... They're beating up on us pretty good here. Dead. 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 Not dead. Okay. Heal up here, and there. We should be almost to level 13. Oh boy. All right, let's see what we can do here. This could be dangerous. Because <laughs> we're getting very low on magic. Hopefully this doesn't uh, come back to bite me in the butt that I fought this fight. Got rid of him. Ooh. Ooh. Got rid of that. Not enough magic. Okay. That's fine. Ow. Good. Dead. Good. Dead. Dead. Alright, and after this fight, it's time to get out and heal. Nice. Alright, we're kind of deep in the mine. I think I have a medical herb. Don't I? Yes. Good. And let's use the other one. Mara here. Okay, good. And... Not enough MP figures. All right, gotta hoof it. That's all right, we'll get out. Fight this guy off here. Nice. Back in the cave, now that we've healed. Just working on getting up to level 13 here. Soon, very soon.
another fight or so, I feel like I'm going to get up that level. I can feel it in my bones, maybe. 36, 48, 68, I'm alright. Let's keep on trucking here. At any point now, I have to get up that level. Maybe this will be the fight. Let's um attack the rogue whisper. I'm thinking e yes. Bang. Won't work on the rogue whisper. There I'll attack that. Fireball, fireball, fireball. Nice. We're almost there. I can feel it. Let's keep on marching around here. I should develop a macro that just, you know, up, 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 a, 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 a. Um, attack. Alright, we got a heal again. Marching back and forth here. I should have healed Mara. There we go. Heal. Out those guys. Let's see if we get our level. Uh, still nothing. Narrow heal, Orin, and heal myself. Okay, back on we go. Oh. I'll do Infernos. Bang. And it worked on two of them. Infernos works. <coughs> Bang. Thank you. 
Let's see if this does it. This has to. No. Jeez. Okay. Let's do Infernos. Bang. Inferno seems to work on every one of them. Bang only seems to work on a few. But. Didn't work on any of them. <coughs> Orin kills one. We're going to attack with Infernos again. Nice. Just attack this guy. Dead. Hmm. Is having some issues here. Oh, Mara died. Okay, well, that's all right. Uh, let's see what happens here. Let's just kill these guys and we'll go bring her back. I gotta get up that level 13 at some point here. Watch, this will be the fight. And there it is. <laughs> okay. Well, that's all right. Good. So I should learn to heal more, I think. Excellent. Good. We are out of here. Okay. Let's do this. Here we go. Let's get away from this fight. All right. Out of this mine. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring back Mara to life. Stop at the local priest. All right, Mara is brought back to life right now. Exit. Uh, yeah. All right. So, I'm going to stay at the end. Actually, you know what? Return to Havil. All right. Let's do this. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to stay at the end here, and then we're going to go down to Kilion Castle, and I will show you how to beat Balzac. Here we go. Exiting this town. As everybody remembers, we have to walk south to Kilion Castle. Here we are. So this is the final boss of chapter four. And let's do this. So entering Kilion Castle, we find the entranceways are blocked. This door should be locked, but Orin breaks the lock open. That's why you need Orin for this chapter. So what you wanna do is come over here, go south down this hallway to this little alcove outside the Chantor's room. 
find your gunpowder jar that we acquired from the mine at Akimo and use it. It sets off a loud noise, which scares the Chancellor guy. He closes his door and starts walking away because he's scared. He thinks something's up and he's going to his boss's chambers. Now, he can't do anything here other than go in there. So we have to go up to this spot in the wall. Go ahead and click search. Push the button. The door opens. And we enter Balzac's throne room. Talk to Balzac. He remembers who we are. He tells us we're here to avenge his father. He knows it. Apparently, Edgar tried to destroy the secret of evolution, which he accidentally discovered. So they killed him for it. So now we're here to avenge his death. Whoops. I just tried to run. All right. Let's do this the right way. Item. Spear of Silence. You want to use this to block his magic? And then we're going to focus the rest of the time on Mara casting Sap, Orin attacking, Nera healing, and occasionally Mara use Bang. You want to keep everybody's hit points above 20, no matter what. This guy's pretty easy. He should be dead within a matter of uh, minutes here at this point. This is why you want to be on level 13. As you can see, he pops quite a while up. Cast Sap again. And we have completed, defeated Balzac. Now, at this point, you think Chapter 4 has been completed. But we have a surprise. The King of Kilion Castle appears, disgusted with Balzac. And Kilion wants to fight us. So, there's no point, you can't even win this fight. All you need to do is just, it takes two rounds to kill everyone. And there's one round. We can You can just attack over and over. It doesn't do anything. And there we go. Orin can't be alive by himself. Kilion has demolished our party. And we awaken in the jail in Kilion Castle. If we talk to the old man here, he says he's dying. And he'll uh, give us his boarding pass to escape this country. So let's go ahead and search this treasure chest. Found the boarding pass. Now we need to escape the prison. So what you do is come this way. I'm gonna go out this way and up these unguarded steps. And we appear in the courtyard. Oron will stay behind here to stop the crowd, the soldiers while we escape. So let's go ahead and return to Havil. I could have just walked, but go inside and we need to show the boarding pass to get on the boat. So to get on the boat, we need to go, uh, not this way, I don't think. I think it's the other way, yes. So we need to come back this way. We should say hi to this old man here. Talking about Endor. So we come up these steps. Let's go around the priest's little hut. Go up this way onto the dock where we come across our boat. So to get on the boat, we have to show the boarding pass to the guy blocking our way here. And he lets us on board. Now, in order to get the ship to sail, you need to speak to everyone. Otherwise, the captain won't let you leave. So let's go ahead and talk to everyone. And we'll search the downstairs cabins. He tells us what to do. So let's just go ahead and speak to everyone here. Basically, everyone telling us what their dreams and ambitions are.
Okay. We learned about poor Pippin's dad. Now, we go in here and talk to the people in here. They heard about us, didn't know it's us. This guy is Tulum's friend. Okay, so that should get us to allow the ship to leave. Nope, we're good. Let's go. All right, so we have officially completed Chapter 4, The Sisters of Moonbara in Dragon Warrior 4 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. As we leave the port here, we're going to sail towards Endor. And next in this adventure is Chapter 5, The Chosen Ones, which is the basically final chapter of the game where all of our heroes from the previous four chapters meet to take on Necrosaro and stop his evil plans. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. As always, can you please click that like button and subscribe to the channel? If you have any questions or comments, as always, please post a comment to this video and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Thanks everybody and I will see you all soon.